Hey everyone, what is up? Louis Floggs and Games here and welcome back to another video on Stepford County Railway. Another small update has dropped, but it has brung another new mesh train that we're going to be having a look at right now. So the next train to be meshed we have is the class 165 and 166 turbo networkers and I must say way better than the old version and I must say they might have done a brilliant job on making the model from the outsider. I think we might do a four car 165-1 and I think we'll take it from Benton to Estherfield. I had that plan on route for a while now. So let's go to Benton and have a look around this train. Right, so we are in now and I must say this train is looking really nice already. I can already tell, but I just noticed of how small the um, the train might be looking because my character is quite big. Uh, oh, another 165 over there that's just coming out of Benton. So we'll get to have a look around the trains and its futures once we get into our driving duty. As we're just going to put the schedule stops down at the bottom. We are going to be going to Estherfield, stopping at Benton, Cambridge Street Parkway. We've got Airport West, we've got James Street, Farley, James Street. then Rosedale Village, and Farley. then we arrive at Estherfield. A nice 10 minute road to do uh, to check out this new class this 165 and 166. Uh, yes. But we are going to be driving the double variant of the 165 uh, because it's sure, because it's longer than the other trains and stuff. Now, let's see the new door animation to kick things off if it's any different. Now that is new. Uh, I haven't seen that dot animation on any other train before. That is actually quite good and it looks almost realistic, I must say. I think the 165 and 166 in real life have the same door opening and closing animation, I assume. But let's just close it now, see what we get. Ah, oh, that's nice. That definitely matches real life. The doors close slowly and then slams uh, and then we start moving. Right, let's have a look in the cab then, and I must say, this has improved by a long mile. I must say, this cab is absolutely amazing looking. Uh, plenty of room, nice seat, uh, and the cab looks pretty detailed as well, I must say. Uh, this looks excellent. Uh, just left Benton now, so we're going to be turning left, and we'll get to check out the train's interior once we get the chance to, as we will go to the next stop. Cambridge Street Parkway, we'll stop there and then we'll have a quick look in the interior of the Class 165. Uh, yeah, it's just going to be a little bit quicker on the approach and now slow down a little bit. We're just arriving into Cambridge Street now. Stop at the S car marker, hope they don't overshoot by too much. And I think we'll have a good look in the interior now and I must say I just noticed the Every front here looks like a little first class area boring. that's disclassified. Uh, but now we move on to the main interior, and oh my god, doesn't that look amazing, to be honest. Uh, 165 and 166 both have 2 plus 3 configuration seating in the middle, then 2 plus 2 in some areas. And I must say, this might be the first time we've seen 2 plus 3 configuration seating on Stepford County Railway's new mesh trains. Uh, they've definitely improved on this. Uh, if we go a little bit further back, we've got the um, the accessible disabled toilet. Uh, oh, this is incredible. Uh, there's plenty of luggage racks as well. Uh, so this could be a good train to use on the new to Terminal 2 route, uh, which I kind of use quite a lot of times. Uh, I often use the 165 and 166 on the new to Terminal 2 route, as I know the 165s do go to Gatwick. Uh, in real life, the Reading to Gatwick Airport route going by Red Hill. Uh, we just heard the horn, it is the same as before and the train sound is uh, exactly the same as the old mesh. Uh. So nothing much really, um, the 165s and 166 sound perfectly fine since they had their sound change. Uh, because back then it used to sound like a 172 instead, uh, which was kind of strange to be honest. Uh, airport West is just up ahead. Might like a little slow down now for the station up ahead. Uh, could have done an airport route actually, but I fancy doing the Estherfield route for a change of plan. Uh, it's just that I haven't done a route to Estherfield in, in a while now, to be honest. I mostly do routes that go to either Farley or Terminal 2 better off. Uh, I often go to Conley now as well. Uh, I do go there quite a bit now. Uh, so recently we had the Class 68 and then we have the 165 or 166 mesh. Uh, now, we, I want to know what you guys think the next train that's going to be meshed in the SER non-mesh trains 
who, what do you think the next train's going to be? Because we still yeah, have the 158, the, the 319, the, the 321, the, the 508, and then we have the 465. Just because I think the 165 and 166 are like identical to the 465, I think there's quite a high chance. I think the class 465 is going to be shown a mesh next in the next sneak peek. Uh, I'm just predicting that because I know that both the 165, 166 and 465s are absolutely identical looking trains because you can tell by the trains um, looks. Uh, the cab may look like the same as the 465 and the interior, yeah, definitely the same. Well, it looks a lot like a 465 as well because that train also has its 2 plus 3 configuration seat in. So I see where we're going with this. So uh, it's most likely the 465s are going to be meshed uh, next and I'm going to be leaving a I guess, and say the three, two, ones might be mesh next. I might not be sure. I won't be right. I know for a fact I might not be at all. Uh, it just depends on what we get then. Uh, because apparently we could have the three, one on as the last train to be meshed. But who knows what could happen. Uh, I know that the SER developers are taking quite a lot of time on making these um, new mesh trains. Uh, someone's trying to make a place for a change of plan as well. Uh. So I want to see what you guys think what the next mesh train is going to be as you leave your thoughts down below in the comments section because I'm kind of interested in what you guys are going to be saying about that. Uh, I'm quite surprised how we are already at the James Tree. I'm about to depart for our next station which will be Farley. A station that I often terminate at because um, Farley to Newby Harbour is one of my favourite routes to do on Waterline. Waterline it's just like Newby to James Street, but it's like Farley. one extra stop from the two terminus stations. James Street now goes to Farley, Newby goes to Newby Harbour. It's quite a nice route to do, to be honest. Uh, and I often use um, the 165, 166 for that. Uh, these used to be one of my uh, favourite waterline trains as well. Uh, that I used to drive uh, whenever non meshed. I may as well say it now because the 165 or 166 might have been one of my favourite non mesh trains left. Uh, because um, it looks um, alright. Uh, they made the interior a little bit better compared to the other trains. Uh, plenty of room, plenty of seats. Uh, sounds perfect as well. And a massive cab as well, with a massive window in the front, and you have to keep on looking up and down for that. Uh, so, yeah, we're just about to leave Farley now, just departing, and then our next station will be Rosedale Village in the next mile. Welcome on board this waterline service to Esterfield. The next station is Rosedale Village. A station that not many people stop at or use. Uh, since so only one route goes to Rosedale Village and the other skips it. Uh, Benton to Esterfield does stop at Rosedale along with James Street and then you've got Newry to Esterfield which skips James Street and Rosedale Village uh, which are the stations that that route don't stop at on their particular timetable. We're about to just come up the hill now and Rosedale Village should just be up ahead in the next moment. And I can just see it up ahead. Uh, so I may as well make a slow down now for Rosedale. Sound a horn? Yeah, the same as before. And just arriving into Rosedale Village now. Uh, a little bit further to the S car. We'll stop at the S car marker. There we go. That will do. Uh, and since we're away from the Benton area now, because I know it's a pain in the ass driving through there. I think this we'll turn the graphics up a little bit now to make the game play a little bit better for our last station. stop. Right, let's just close the doors. I just turned up my graphics a little bit higher now since we are not in a very busy area where with big buildings, big stations, with a lot of platforms. Uh, we're fine for now as Esterfield is only a four platform terminus. Uh, the next station is I'm quite surprised how quick this route visual has been already since I started like almost 10 minutes ago. Uh, starting at the Benton sidings, only stopping at seven stations on this route. Uh, and we are already near Esterfield, uh, which where we are going to be finishing off our route visual there, showing off the new 165s and 166s. I'm expecting another new SEO update next week as well because of Sneak Peek Sunday uh, coming around. Might be slowing it down a little bit too early there. Don't know why I'm seeing the uh, the prime van outside my house. 
Uh, we're just still coming into approach of Estefield on platform number one. Don't usually terminate there as well. So we'll be running onto platform one and then we're going to be ending off our route for sure. So we're just going to pull up to the platform now. Hopefully I don't hit the buffers. And there we have it. We have completed our route for sure, arriving at the nice town of Estefield. Quite a nice station, I must say, yeah. So slow it down a little bit. Uh, and stop there. There we go. That should do it. Let's open the doors and we have finished today's route visual on the new 16 Farms to 166 from Benton over to Estefield. Since we're now finished, we're probably going to end off the video now as we're just about to despawn in a second. Just waiting to get my points, my XP, and there we have it. So let's exit back to the menu. And we'll end off by saying thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you all did enjoy it. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure that you do like and subscribe. And we'll see you all in the next one. Until next time, bye guys. See ya.